There's a lot of misconceptions, particularly pH. Does it matter in living soil or not? What's your take on that? Yeah, it was kind of, uh, <laughs> it was honestly kind of shocking to me that this was such a, a controversial topic. And I'll be honest, I started off on that sort of organic soil route thinking it wasn't that important because I never had to deal with it. I have really good water uh, here in the Seattle area um, that doesn't have a lot of mineral content and uh, is fairly neutral. And then my soils that I used were always within a good pH range. But pH absolutely matters. T take 10 seconds, hop on Google, and just Google pH availability chart for plants. And it, it's very obvious when you look at that, that there are certain ranges when nutrients are going to be more available for your plant and heavy metals are going to be less available. And so if we can stay within that optimal pH range, and for me, um, if we're growing medicinal plants in living soil, I like to run a little more alkaline. So I, I usually target around 6.8. Um, I'll go as low as 6.5. Now, if you're in hydro and other things, people are down in the fives or low sixes. And for me, I like to run a little bit more alkaline because that reduces heavy metal uptake. Um, it doesn't necessarily limit a lot of the nutrient availability and we still get good yields and good results. But yes, pH absolutely matters. Um, Anyone who's taken a plant botany course uh, and understands how plants uptake nutrients will under will will agree with it. It's one of those things that like soil scientists just don't argue about. It's like the earth is round. Yet when we get into the living soil community, uh, that's where things get a little bit uh, you know less sure on on some of these just basic plant physiology questions. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mister Grow at fifteen to save on any of their products. Thank you.